Now, it's no secret that Hollywood despises Republicans. It despises Republicans who support Donald Trump even more. Take the case of Antonio Zabato Jr. At one point, he was smoking hot. He was, after all, Jagger Cates on that long-running soap, General Hospital. Have you thought about hiring more help? Uh, 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 I think I'm one step ahead of you. Well, like a bad penny. And he doesn't deserve it after cutting out and be like that. I am such a sucker for you. <laughs> now, everybody knows this is a tough, tough town to be an actor. I mean, after all, actors have five lives. Who is Antonio? Get me Antonio. Get me an Antonio type. Get me a young Antonio. And finally, who is Antonio? But it doesn't look like Antonio Sabato Jr. got to that fifth stage. I mean, after all, even before acting, he had a very successful career as a model. Antonio Sabato Jr. Kicking off our list is the man with the legendary dimples. We're guessing that wasn't all that made women swoon in the 90s when this Italian stallion was modeling Calvin Klein underwear. At 18, he appeared in a Janet Jackson music video, and pretty soon his rugged good looks and easy charm were on General Hospital. Since then, his smoldering gaze has gotten him regular acting work. So you think that I'm the most beautiful man I ever seen. And then there was his successful turn as a dancer on Dancing with the Stars. He did get deep into the contest, you know. And we're learning now that this is our last season. Who's last season? Cheryl. Yeah, Cheryl's yeah. last season. What yes. What do you think about that? You got to be her last dancing partner. I, I, what I do you have to say about that? Incredible, just phenomenal. It was incredible. You are the yeah. last. I am the last dancer to dance with Cheryl. Uh, but uh, listen, I mean, she's been here for a long time. She could come back. And listen, she's incredible. So this show is going to miss her. I'm going to miss dancing with her. So, she, you know, she's won twice. You know, she's incredible. So what happened? Well, when I got back from, to Los Angeles from Cleveland, uh, my agents and my managers all left me. and. They didn't want to return my calls. I had some jobs lined up that all went away. And why did this happen? We want to take you to Antonio Sabato Jr., actor best known for his role on General Hospital. Caleb, okay, we'll be right back with you. I'm concerned about the country's future. I am concerned about my children's future. And I believe we need Donald Trump, who shares, that's right, who shares my beliefs and my faith to get our country back on track. In the past eight years, failed policies have caused our country to deteriorate. Our rights have been trampled and our security threatened. We are weaker by almost every measure. We are on the wrong path. It is clear even to someone who was not even born here. I came to the United States from Rome, Italy in 1985. That's right. Et vai, Italia. I follow all the rules and finally became a naturalized citizen in 1996. That's right. Others who want to come to the U.S. to live and work should follow the same rules. Now, as far as the Hollywood community is concerned, strike one, Zabato's a Republican. Strike two, Zabato's a Trump-supporting Republican. But Zabato had a third strike. Tell us a little bit about how you became one of the speakers tonight. Politics has not been something you're involved no, in before, right? No, not at all, but I'm very passionate about this country, and uh, I love the United States so much, and uh, I guess God works in mysterious ways. He put me one way to the other, and the next thing I know, I'm, I'm speaking here, so. But what's one way to the other? Like, what were the steps that got you from being passionate about the country to on this stage? Well, you know, for the last year especially, um, you know, I know that Trump was going to win, so I really backed him up. But even before that, for the last seven and a half years, I've seen this country really uh, take a bad turn. And uh, I kept my mouth shut. This country was based on, uh, on, on rules that actually go back to the Bible. I mean, we're talking about this nation under God. I mean, it says that it... But it doesn't say which God. It just says there's only God. That's one God that we know about. It's not, it's not, you believe it's Islam, this country was based on Islam, or you believe that the God that I'm talking about is the one in the Bible? Do you believe that we could never have a Muslim president or never have a Jewish president? We had one. 
We had a Muslim president for seven and a half years. You believe that President Obama is a Muslim? Absolutely. Is that what you're saying? Absolutely. And that is based on what you feel in your heart? Uh, That's what I believe, yeah. And you know what? I have the right to believe that, and you have the right to go against that, but I believe it. Strike three, Obama is a Muslim? Now, before you react, let me remind you what Colin Powell, the former Secretary of State, said, who endorsed Obama in 2008, about the accusation that Obama is a Muslim, Here's what Powell said. Well, the correct answer is he is not a Muslim. He's a Christian. He's always been a Christian. But the really right answer is, what if he is? Is there something wrong with being a Muslim in this country? The answer is no, that's not America. Now, do you know who else thinks Obama is a Muslim? Much of the country. Check out this survey discussed in the Washington Post. Even many Democrats weren't taking Obama at his word. Only 45% chose Christian, while 17% said spiritual, 10% said Muslim, and 26% said they didn't know, end of quote. And those were Democrats. And this is from a 2010 Pew Research survey that nearly one in five Americans, 18%, now say Obama is a Muslim, up from 11% in March 2009. Only about one-third of adults, 34%, say Obama is a Christian, down sharply from 48% in 2009. Fully 43% say they do not know what Obama's religion is. Even among many of his supporters and allies, less than half now say Obama is a Christian. Among Democrats, for instance, 46% say Obama is a Christian, down from 55% in March 2009, end of quote. So Zabato was simply articulating a point of view held by many Americans, including many Democrats. Now, how tough is Hollywood a place for a conservative? Well, conservative commentator Ben Shapiro somehow was able to interview over 100 Hollywood players. We're talking about show creators, writers, and others, and ask them about Hollywood's reputation for being liberal. Marta Kaufman is the creator of Friends, about the accusation that Hollywood is consistently liberal, here's what Kaufman said. How could it not? I mean, mm-hmm. you have a bunch of liberals running the show. I mean, <laughs> truly, we, yeah. we all come from a certain place. Um, we're going to put out there what we believe because right. these characters mirror who we are. Mm-hmm. Um, and it has to. Right. You know, we, you're right from what you know. Mm-hmm. Um, or what you research, but with comedy, when you're doing television, you've got to... It's got to be genuine, and it's it's got to come from you, so... And, you know, we put together a staff of of mostly liberal people. Although, I have to say, when we cast Candace Gingrich as the the, the minister Mm -hmm. of that wedding, there was a bit of you in it. Leonard Goldberg of ABC created Fantasy Island and Charlie's Angels. Ben Shapiro asked him whether or not there is a consistently left-wing agenda being pushed in Hollywood. Here's what he said. There's Um, no question about that. Yeah. I don't know about the content being pushed, but in terms of the uh, thought about various matters, social and political, Mm -hmm. it's 100% of it. And anyone who denies it is kidding. We're yeah. not telling the truth. You have to start with the premise. Unquestionably, Hollywood is a liberal community. Fred Silverman, former executive of ABC, former executive of NBC, former senior executive at CBS, on whether Hollywood comedy shows are left-wing. Right now, there's only one perspective, and it's a very progressive perspective. Susan Harris, creator of Soap, creator of Golden Girls, on whether or not Hollywood is too progressive, too liberal. Idiot stalking. <laughs> I mean, what, what can I say? It's just, you know, look, there's a large section of this country. It seems to be getting smaller, at least, you know, we put Obama in office, and so people, I think, are getting a little, gotten a little bit smarter. Um, but there are a lot of people who really are, have medieval minds uh, in all sorts of ways. And, you know, that's who you're dealing with. Vin DeBona, the creator of MacGyver, on whether or not liberals dominate Hollywood. I think it's uh, probably accurate, and I'm happy about it. That's Hollywood. Ask Mr. Sabato Jr. Tough place. 
get it, Jake. It's Chinatown. I'm Larry Elder, and we've got a country to save. I'll see you next time.